getting juicy. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you oh some no. of the sights. But, um... You... You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not bad. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well... We'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just... You know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. <laughs> Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> it can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But we're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite. What's up, buddy? Could you fit my comedy act into tonight's show? I'm still breaking in my new partner, but I can carry the act. I'd appreciate you squeezing us in. For you, Maggie, dear, I'll do it as a personal favor, but you get 200 flat. No expenses, no per diem. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. It gets worse. Our headliner is doubling up after, and the opener flubbed their lines and lost us minutes. Playing deuce for a cold house? Well, all right. Them's the breaks. What the hell are you even saying? I'm saying we're going on, and you are my straight man. What? You are serious? I'll take care of the actual funny bits. Just act like you always do and we'll be fine. Bonus points if you toss the men in the audience a glare of contempt every now and then. Just trust me. Oh, hold on. This is all happening so fast. I'm not sure I'm ready for... You'd better get ready because the curtain's going up. All right. I'm guessing this is a dance dancing Hi there. Maybe? We're Moggy and Belle, your lovely comedians for today. Magic is in! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show. Now, I'm Moggy, the bright beaming one in the pair, while my moody little partner here is... <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Belle? Everything okay? You need to put some energy into this or we're in trouble. Come on, if you've got one redeeming feature, it's your moxie. That might be, but this is different. I can see you're going through something right now. All right, let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> Excuse us for just one moment. Velvet, what are you doing? We're losing the audience. Uh, I can't help it. They've never talked in front of such a big crowd before. Wait, don't tell me. You've got stage fright? S so what if I do? That's so unlike you. Just pretend that you're fighting some nasty exorcist and give it some gusto. Easy for you to say. I'm embarrassed out here. Don't be such a girl! 
I am a girl. That's it. Just do that, but project your voice. I can't, and I don't want to. You're a comedian. You have to. Where's your passion for your newfound art? I'm not one, and I've never had any. No, I can see it within you, deep down, the burning passion of a true artist at heart. I've had enough! I can't do this with you! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Show's over. Well, you've certainly shown me something new. A comedy team that just stands on stage whispering to each other. We're going for a brand new comedic style. So, <laughs> what did you think? <sighs> Don't quit your day job. That's what I thought. Ah, oh, now she plays the straight man. All right. That was horrible. This is bull crap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous. Hmm? Looks like they're at it again. for supplies and tell you what I'll give you a fair price actually just take what you need <sighs> we should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit what uh, are you sure uh, uh, no Wait, what was I saying? The guy with the robe. You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah, it disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain, a Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. Hey, why aren't you walking? So, the suppression. Hey, he said a word. Yo, you know who I think this is? The person in the robe? I swear, I think it's that dude whose eye we cut out. That's who I think this is. Don't hold me to it. That's my first suspicion. Well, that was certainly off-putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Because it's just something about him. Him in particular, knowing that it was the suppression. I'm like, yo. Hey, geezer. You all right? What nonsense are you spouting, youngin? That's one spirited old man. Well, it's just that you suddenly got all polite on me, and you were all like, Oh no, good chum, worry not about your debt to me. I thought I said stop spouting nonsense. It's not nonsense. You did say it. I heard you say it. He did, but we were all acting strangely. You said, after you, fine sir. And I said, no, 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 I simply couldn't. You first, dear friend. There's no way in hell I would ever let you go first. Come to think of it, that's right. But he said not to worry about our debts and now he's taking it back? That's inhuman, cruel, ruthless. They lost control of themselves, but still have their memories. Maybe something was manipulating them. What in the world happened to us? I don't get it, but what I do get is that he said we don't owe him nothing. So my debt to you is off, right old man? Same here, same here. Shut your traps. I'd be flat broke if I let you knuckleheads off the hook. Now shut up and pay up. Something really like strange crunk. happened here. Seems so. And I think this is just the beginning of it. He totally did. I can't go that way. He no, he totally did sound like Kronk, though. All right, kids. Now beat it. I know where we're going. Oh yeah, Titania front docks, baby. 
Hell yeah. Cutscene. All right. We're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Ilmid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, wrong. is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh is rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man, renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me, at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The prince. He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. More anime, I'm calling it. No? Hey, what's with that giant whale? The whole island's a prison. It's like a secret fort or something. Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. <laughs> Let's scope out the inside. I'm gonna save here after I grab this. You know, it's really bad that I don't even bother looking at the things I pick up. I could probably like really need it for something. I don't care. Ooh, we're about 25 hours into this game. Noise. Well, that music says enough. An exorcist. Correct. Are Good job, team. Right? Chopped up another one. Headless knights. She's dead. The headless knight is back. Bitch ass nigga, run up! <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. Think this is the demon that attacked her? Mm, another prison riot? And... Kurogane, Dial, you two protect Kamoana and the Prince. Understood. Now watch this. Oh no, we're fighting it. No, this, isn't, this isn't it. I know this isn't it. Stupid monkey. You're giving me a header. Stay sharp. This one must have survived the riot. Killing flash, but I'm just close. I won't miss. Form zero. All right, good job. Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. That's the first time I see a mystic heart just in that dude. So did the Abbey actually fail to quell the riot? I find that hard to believe. The prison was heavily staffed with exorcists. Perhaps it was venomization. Venomization. A dark ritual. Forcing demons to eat each other in order to produce ever stronger demons. 
so the demons devoured each other, creating a demon too powerful for the exorcists to control? I imagine the riot didn't help. Now whose fault could that have been, I wonder? Whatever happened doesn't matter to us now. We need to focus on how to take this place for ourselves. Yeah, kill it. That exorcist from before said something about a headless knight, right? That one's probably the leader. Then we hunt it down and destroy it. Until we capture the island, let's use this room for our staging ground. I'll leave the prince and Kamoana to you two. Eliminate any enemies who come in. Understood. Don't expect much from me, but all right. Kamoana, if anything happens, call for me and I'll come running to protect you, okay? Okay. You stay safe too, Eleanor. Let's go. This music, though. Pardon me, I'm just gonna sneak past you real quick. Oh, a turtle's here. Hey, it's you again. Ah, I'm so busy! I'm so busy I can't even notice what's going on around me! You're not fooling anybody. Why bother? I was hoping to not have to deal with you guys. Whenever I run into you, I always lose so much money. Because Velvet always forces unreasonable demands on you? Oh, Miss Exorcist! Your concern warms my little turtle's heart. I'm not forcing anything. I just think he's trying to take advantage of us by fixing his prices well above market rate. Price fixing? As in deliberately marking up items so as to take advantage of the less fortunate? I was under the impression that the Abbey strictly forbade such unscrupulous business tactics. Ah! <laughs> Perish the thought, Miz. Our accounting is always above board. 25 hours a day, 8 days a week. No matter whens and no matter wheres, you can get whatever you need for the same fair price. That's good to hear. Eleanor, give the nice turtles that smile he so desires. I'm sure running a business is hard work. Hang in there. M much obliged. Yeah, so. From the way you were talking, it seemed like you had an idea of who was behind the riot. What happened here? I think someone in your position would know. There were reports of a large riot, but I was caught up in chasing you, so I heard little else. It was a small affair, really. Velvet Rokuro and I were being held on this island. Velvet instigated the other prisoners to riot so that we could escape. She used the prisoners? Yeah. You'd expect different from me? <sighs> How did it end? We didn't stay to see, but the prisoners were losing badly. Or at least, that's what it looked like. But if that was the case, then where did all the exorcists go? I know Oscar left to report the incident, but the other guards should have remained at their posts. Well, if they didn't flee, we have to assume they were all killed. By this headless knight, perhaps? Well, no sense losing our heads, I suppose. But it looks like we're in for a heck of a fight. All we have to do is mop up anyone who's left. What was it called? Venomization, right? The dark ritual of making demons feed on each other to birth stronger ones. Aizen, how many demons does the ritual require? It's more a matter of quality than quantity. Stronger demons mean more powerful malevolence. The ritual mixes the victor's malevolence with that of the devoured, creating a terrible, bloodthirsty monster. You see, the newfound power comes at a great cost. With it, the victor's last vestiges of self-control are stripped away. So it's something even more than a monster. A seething ball of pure power and malevolence. Rogoro, don't tell me you're considering it for yourself. Of course I am. I'll consider anything that can make me stronger. You cannot be serious! What's there to be so surprised about? Well, look at Velvet. She's already eaten countless demons. You're ridiculous! He's right. If it helps me find my vengeance, I don't care. Velvet? Wait. Are you really going to do it? Relax. It's not gonna happen. Becoming a monster wouldn't bother me. But when I defeat my rival, I have to be myself for it to mean anything. It's the same for Velvet. It is? 
Besides, if I kill a previous victor of the ritual, I'll have proved myself strong enough not to need the extra power. You're ridiculous. Said the beast. Everyone in this game's a beast. The Headless Knight! Who must be the product of the Venomization? Well, he definitely looks vicious enough. <laughs> Not as vicious as our Velvet, though. I like this Headless Knight. He's just like, yo, no words, square up now. Weak to water. Okay, then. Where's his voice even coming from? I don't know. Look inside. <laughs> 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 Good job, team. Well, that takes care of that. It's not that easy. He's gonna get back up. Hey, what's that? Yeah. I feel something again. More malevolence? No, another Earth Pulse point. It must be on this island. I sense it too. It's very close. Directly underneath us, I would guess. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Hey, spike shoes. What is this place? Welcome to the most secure cell in the entire complex. The darkest hole in Titania. Feel anything, Lafisset? Yeah, I think this is the Earth Pulse Point. If this cell is where the Earth Pulse Point is, then does that mean it housed Etherian? Yeah. And a real hungry one at that. Every day, they would toss demons into its cell. It would devour its fill, then wipe the blood from its lips. Never once realizing, it was delivering to Inominat the malevolence of hundreds of demons and prisoners. And then one day, there appeared before it a female Moloch, who shattered the barrier and freed the Therian from its cage. But the Therian knew no mercy, and it devoured its liberator. And it was then... It was then I obtained the power. The power to avenge my brother. Velvet, you're a Therian? This prison island was a feeding ground for the Therian, harnessing the malevolence created by the prisoners within. But because Velvet escaped, the malevolence went out of control. Wow, the same darn thing that happened back in Kamoana's village. Lord Artorius would never have done such a thing. No? What's so unbelievable? That he used his wife's brother as a human sacrifice? That he imprisoned his wife's sister? Because that's what your damned holy shepherd did! All to get his hands on Inominat's power! I'm sure he... he had a reason for... A reason? To spare the world of its pain? Don't give me that! Who will spare my brother's pain? Who will soothe my brother's despair? He murdered my little brother, Luffy! And you'll stand there and tell me it was for the greater good? At any rate, 
That's one less Therian for us to track down. Velvet. Yell at you so hard you're starting to hear voices now? I have a feeling something's wrong. Kamoana could be in danger. But we already beat the Headless Knight. I still can't shake this feeling. Please, let's go back and check on them. The music said it all. True Velvet. Oh, gained a title level for uh, New Velvet. Yeah, I like using velvet. Heart attack. And that's focused increased. Character level. Okay. But now is definitely, uh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, no. But now is definitely one of that, one of those points in the game where it's like you're getting into the true story. Because in Tales of Zest, the Italian dress, and they were, you were talking about the malevolence and everything like that, like from the beginning of the game. Whereas this game called it the Demon Blight. Velvet is a Therian, is she? I knew there was something off about her. But it's what she cried out that's really on my mind. Lafi said, Is Velvet truly Lord Artorius' younger sister? She never told me. If it were true, I suppose it would explain her knowledge of Lord Artorius' training. If you're so curious, why not ask her yourself? Hey, Velvet, what's your connection to Artorius? Uh, Rokuro, have some tact! I heard you whispering. It doesn't bother me. Artorius was married to my late sister, Selica. He was our brother-in-law. We lived together for more than ten years. That does explain a few things. So he sacrificed his little brother and turned his sister into a Therian. But... you were his family. To his view, the grand scheme. Family is inconsequential. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. All he did was act according to his ideal logic. <sighs> well, enough chit chat. Let's get moving. But Jazz, I'm telling you, I know you don't trust Eleanor now. I don't trust her now myself, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there's gonna be that one thing that's gonna happen to her, and she is going to snap, and she's gonna be down for- Oh shit! Oh my god, not again. She's going to be down <laughs> for the fucking cause. Then after that, you'll truly trust her again. So it turns out that Velvet is a Therian who consumes malevolence. And too much malevolence is what changes people into demons. Strong enough malevolence can persist after the person who created it dies, turning their corpse or spirit into a raging monster. That's how undead and phantom demons come about. Then the demons Velvet killed turned back into humans because she devoured their malevolence. Yeah, and consequently, they avoided becoming undead or anything like that. So she saved them. Well, I mean, a corpse is a corpse, of course, of course. Do you think she could devour only the malevolence and turn a living demon human again? Unfortunately, that's impossible due to malevolence's self-reinforcing nature. When Therians are connected to Enominot through an Earth Pulse point, 
They seem to be able to absorb small concentrations of malevolence from the surrounding area and inhibit the creation of new demons. But any human who builds up enough malevolence to turn into a demon will keep producing malevolence as long as they live. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off Blade at the guys. source. That's how my powers work. Velvet, I'm sorry. I don't mind it. Actually, I find it convenient. This way, I'll never forget my hatred for Artorias. Plus, as long as you stay away from an Earth Pulse point, you get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Fuel for my hatred, yes. Oh. Another hot road shooter, nice. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, oh, you ain't scared me that time, asshole. This is not where I need to be. Take a look at this. Triple wins. Well, well. Scout ship setting set. Oh, still takes oh, well. must be the true survivor of the venomization process. Oh, I get it! The dying exorcist lady wasn't saying Headless Knight is back, she was going for Headless Knight on horseback! Whatever the case, we'll fight whoever we have to to claim this island! Oh, weakness of one, huh? Anyway, yo, give me my soul back. Oh, 
Venomization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon? Not you. Griffin, my one and only friend. <laughs> A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, why do you have a Therian? It's like I said, Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape? What are you plotting? I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution. One designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say, my itch, over my studies in service of the state. Uh Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Inominat's power. 
I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The Kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the Exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the Exorcist and killed him. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead Exorcist, but with Etherian removed, Malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet... I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness... He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? Uh, that's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. That's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. All right, we're about to get Fortnite up in here. Everybody with the with the hell of level ups. Grants one maximum BG to characters wearing equipment that has been enhanced. Oh, I didn't hit next. Oops. Sorry. Hey, Velvet. Do you know where Eleanor is? Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah. But then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? <sighs> all right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? Why are there? Oh, this is the ship crew. Right, okay. I was, I was like, why are there all these people here all of a sudden? Huh. A most interesting interpretation. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean Midriff, which probably isn't right. Maybe Musaeula? <gasps> well, that would make this passage read, Porges are nummy. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Bit drunk. <laughs> Just try not to go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helibes, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa, to me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19.
even care to join me for a drink? Can't 19. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I?